Welcome in Buyer by Not. Today we are going to review Graco Stadium Duo, a push trailer buggy for twins or two small kids. So let's see what I got in the box. Oh yes, everything in one piece. Uh, well, not really. I really hoped for one piece, but you will have to assemble a few bits here and there. So this is the front double wheel. This is the real wheel brake. And uh, this is the manual and part of the real wheels. Let's open the, the buggy and see how difficult it is. It's not very difficult, but you have to find a hook that locks the whole construction together when it's um, closed. Okay, the front wheels will just go in by clicking them into the um, um, buggy, so it's not a big job, it's like 25 seconds. Well, the real wheels are not so easy to install and you will need some tools and um, manual as I had to have a look into it. I usually do not use manuals, but this time I had to have a look in it and I realized that I'm gonna use a hammer to get the wheels rolling. Fortunately, it is not a big or difficult job, just hit few times the wheel and it should click in. The thing is that they're just one um, off, so you'll never ever take them out again. And this is the buggy more or less, you'll have two small roofs over the seats and I'm looking at the manual again and I got sweaty because it is, seems to be hard work. So in manual you're going to get all the languages of the world you want, well maybe about 20, but the most important part is at the very beginning the pictures. So, the buggy is equipped with two small tables for the kids in the front and back. They are very easy to install, they are just click in and you can remove them easily whenever you want. So, they are quite good idea. This is the uh, rear one. You have to be aware that if you install them, it is going to be a bit more tricky to install the kids inside of the pusher. This is the uh, front roof for the smaller chair and I installed it um, the wrong way the first time I did it so you have to mind that the roof is just a click in roof and you can demount it easily whenever you want you have to be aware that it makes the buggy longer when you um, fold it so but it's not a big job so ladies you should not have problem with that after a few very exciting moments, the pusher was fully assembled and ready for a walk. So, this is how the pusher looks like when it is fully assembled. You'll have to deal with a few velcros here and there. And I was ready for the manager to inspect the item. So I called my GF and asked her whether she's fully happy with the buy. This is what she said. You like it? I have to like Well, viewers, you've heard the lady. She's not completely happy. But I have to tell you that I'm not a member of a Kardashian family, so I cannot buy expensive things like pushers for one or two thousand euros. And this one was like 250. I have to check the price and I will show it to you um, at the very end of, of the video. But this pusher is in the family for about two or three weeks now. And my girlfriend did change her mind. She said that the pusher is very light and extremely easy to assemble. Well, you have to practice it one, two, maybe five times and then it becomes extremely easy to get it into the car as I'm presenting it here. So again, the pusher is easy to assemble and uh, to fold it um, to get it ready for transport, unlike other expensive pushers that seems to be better made out of better materials and stuff like that. But the thing is that this one is extremely light and um, pushers for two, or two children are usually difficult to steer and this one is not light, agile and she's very happy with it. I asked her how many points should I give to this very item and she said, well, at least 80, 85 maybe. Well, I had to buy one extra thing for it. I think that um, that should be included. This is the rain cover, but I bought it for 7 quid on Amazon, 7 or 8 quid, so 90 out of 100. Well, just to sum up, 240 euros plus 10 quid for the rain cover. Cheap, good, cheap, 
Remember to subscribe and see you next time.